It's DSP's Top 5 Surprisingly Good Games of 2012, the best games that you probably didn't play this year. Number 1, The Walking Dead Season 1's Episodic Game from Telltale Games. Telltale Games is certainly making a name for themselves in the episodic gaming market. Now what is an episodic game? It's a game that's released over a series of episodes during the course of the year. So for example, last year we had Back to the Future, which had five episodes that were released about two to three months apart. And then in the fall of last year, I believe they also had Jurassic Park. Now both of those outings were movie tie-ins and they basically did some pretty good usage of the licenses of those movie series. However, the gameplay left something to be lacking. Sometimes there were game-breaking bugs, sometimes it was pretty much just boring point-and-click figuring out how to solve a puzzle, and it wasn't very interesting unless you were really into the characters of those games. The Walking Dead basically is such a great game just because of the writing itself. It takes the premise of the Walking Dead universe and throws a totally new cast of characters into the mix that are interesting, unique, very different from each other, but they all are forced to find a way to interact and work together to survive in this apocalyptic setting. Now, the gameplay of The Walking Dead isn't necessarily anything to write home about. I mean, sure, again, you'll have some point-and-click puzzles, maybe you'll have to pick up an item here and use it somewhere else, similar to some previous Telltale Games outings. However, really where the game shines is the dialogue and the story itself and how your choices in the game can actually completely change the outcome. So for example, there will be certain times during The Walking Dead Season 1 when you'll be forced to side with either one person or another when there's a feud or disagreement. And judging on who you actually side with, it'll change dialogue options, it'll actually change the plot of the game, and some characters may or may not survive or even come with you for the remainder of the game. Over the course of the five episodes of The Walking Dead Season 1, you really get to know and feel for the majority of characters in the game, to the point where when it finally comes to a resolution, and no real spoiler here, but with most of these zombie and apocalyptic style plots, you know there's going to be some kind of a depressing ending where something horrible happens. Well, yeah, that's kind of par for the course for The Walking Dead without spoiling, but it's pretty f just emotionally gripping and intense when at the end stuff starts happening happening and you're like oh my god this is a character who's been with me for the entire course of the game and they're just gone and that being said I'll openly admit I admitted it in my review and I'll admit it here at the end of The Walking Dead in episode 5 when the shit hit the fan the writing of this series is so good the characters are so well developed and written I actually cried in the final episode. I mean, I couldn't help it. I was so moved by the things that were happening, by the sacrifices that were being made, the heroism, the people who you'd been with through this 10 to 12 hour game who now unfortunately looked like they weren't going to continue on. It was pretty emotionally just tearing, heart-wrenching, and I have no surprise why this game was named Game of the Year by Spike TV's VGA Awards, and I wouldn't be surprised if many different outlets picked this as Game of the Year simply because the writing is so good. By far the best story of the year, the best characters of the year, and the best dialogue of the year probably all came out of this particular game, which is why so many people enjoy it. You know, there are going to be some people who are going to say, oh, well, I don't think it deserves any kind of recognition because pretty much The Walking Dead isn't much of a game. It's more like an interactive movie, similar to how people criticized Heavy Rain a few years back for being very light on gameplay and very heavy on dialogue. The same thing happens here in The Walking Dead. In fact, I'll be honest, it's even lighter than Heavy Rain was on gameplay. A lot of the times, you're just going to be sitting back and enjoying a cutscene. But for what it is... The fact that it is not, it's not even a full retail game. I mean, the thing was a, a downloadable episodic game for what, 20 bucks? I think it was actually originally 15. 
and the fact that you're gonna get 12 hours of gameplay it the writing is so good you're gonna get emotionally moved by the game but then in addition to that as I said the game actually changes depending on your decisions so there's even incentive to go back and play the game multiple times try different decisions and see how that affects the dialogue see how different characters attitudes change during the course of the game because of the things that you've said and done so the walking dead basically a masterpiece of narrative and writing, one of the best written and, and just emotional games that I've played in quite some time. It actually made me tear up during my playthrough. Surprisingly good. Again, the past two Telltale games weren't that great. The Walking Dead, amazing. Definitely check it out if you haven't yet. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the most surprisingly good games of 2012. I hope that this series has helped you to discover some games that otherwise you may have never heard of or considered playing that I really felt were outstanding and really deserve more attention this year. And being that it is near the end of the year, it is that holiday time, and a lot of these games are pretty old and probably being sold for a very deep discount, this may be a great opportunity to stuff your stocking with some really great gaming. So check out these titles and definitely check out the rest of my year-end series. Thanks for joining me. See you then.